Welcome to Make Every Device Connected, the why, what and how of the CC3200 Launchpad product development. My name is Glenn Vasalo, E2E MVP. I'm an IT professional with a background in cloud, data and mobile technologies. However, of late I've been developing an embedded device based on TI's Simple Link technology, which the CC3200 Launchpad is a member. I was recently recognized as an E2E MVP through TI's E2E Community Reward and Recognition Program. The reason I chose TI SimpleLink Wi-Fi is because TI makes it simple for individuals, passionate developers, startups and small businesses to go to market quickly with their end-to-end -end solutions. This includes an integrated software development toolchain with all components available for free an extensive and affordable selection of development kits and plugin modules, and of course, great support via TI's E2E community, where you'll find me, TI engineers, and many other active community members ready to offer a hand. I like TI's E2E community in the SimpleLink Wi-Fi CC3100 and CC3200 forum because it's a great place to learn about the SimpleLink technologies from the many experienced and knowledgeable members including TI staff who are always open to feedback and suggestions for improvement. If you have any questions about the CC3200 Launchpad after this presentation, then please feel free to pay us a visit at the E2E forum. Let's now move on to the presentation. First we'll look at the opportunity the CC3200 presents those developing products. Then we'll look at the solution to this opportunity, which is of course the CC3200 Launchpad. Then we'll discuss how we can develop new products with the CC3200 Launchpad. Then we'll look at three examples which show how the CC3200 can and is being used in the real world. Before we look at the CC3200 Launchpad, I'd like to give you some very good reasons why you should be interested. The growth in connected devices is predicted to be both large and rapid. Wi-Fi is likely to be the technology of choice for many devices. Many homes and offices already have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi offers a direct connection to the internet and Wi-Fi offers extremely fast speeds. Not all devices require a fast CPU with high level operating system. Many devices are low cost and hence require a low cost connection technology. The integrated MCU and Wi-Fi provides just about everything a device will require to become connected and all at an affordable price point. The graph on the right was produced by Cisco. They expect there to be 50 billion connected objects by 2020. Another reason to be interested is device diversification. As the graph on the right shows, no longer will computers, tablets and smartphones be the only connected devices. Many new and different types of devices will become connected. Things never even expected or imagined. Household devices will likely lead the way. Think about the Nest thermostat, Philips Hue light bulbs, TVs, stereos, and much more. And this change will affect all industries, not just home and consumer items, but industries such as medical, industrial, and automotive. So let's look at the CC3200 Launchpad and find out exactly what it is and what features it has. Well, it's a development board used to develop all kinds of Wi-Fi enabled products. At its heart is the CC3200 wireless MCU, which is an MCU and Wi-Fi all in one. It has 40 pin booster pack headers to easily connect various technologies and peripherals. Debugging and programming is simple with a direct USB connection from Launchpad to PC via FTDI drivers. It has a one megabyte external serial flash for program and firmware, which allows for the designer to select the appropriate size serial flash. And for testing and development and da data-based applications, it has two buttons, three LEDs, an onboard accelerometer and temperature sensor. Also included is an onboard chip antenna and the ability to add an external antenna via a UFL connector. The CC3200 is the industry's first single chip microcontroller with built-in Wi-Fi. It comprises two main subsystems, 
each with its own microcontroller. Power management has been looked after by the power management subsystem and has various modes which can provide over years running on two AA batteries. An FCC certified module that includes the external serial flash crystals will be available soon. This will make it even easier and quicker to get products to market. The application microcontroller subsystem is based on a powerful ARM Gore-Tex M4 80 MHz microcontroller. It has 256 kilobytes of RAM. Peripherals are plenty with an 8-bit parallel camera interface, audio, SD card, UART, SPI and I2C. There are four GPTs and 16-bit PWN mode. One watchdog timer, four channel 12-bit ADCs, Multiplexing is extensive with 27 individually programmable GPIOs and a hardware crypto engine for fast security. The Wi-Fi network processor subsystem has its own ARM Gore-Tex M3 MCU. This completely offloads Wi-Fi and internet protocol processing from the application microcontroller. Having worked with this for a while now, I can say that everything works seamlessly. It also has 802.11b G and N support. You can set up the CC3200 as an access point, join it to a Wi-Fi router by using station mode, or even use the new peer-to-peer -peer networking solution Wi-Fi Direct. Multiple provisioning options are provided. TI's very own smart config provides a one-step process to add a device to a Wi-Fi network. This makes it so simple that anyone can now use devices can add devices to a network. It includes an embedded TCP IP stack, which includes MDMS for discovery and iOS and Android devices. The Sockets API uses the industry standard BSD sockets, which means you can use code and libraries for other internet protocols. Many are freely available on the internet. It comes with an onboard HTTP web server, where you can access configuration or develop your own applications on top. And should you wish to use HTTPs in your communication, HTTPS in your communication, this is provided by Embedded Crypto Engine. All major Wi-Fi security options are available, including WPA2, Enterprise Security, ensuring that devices developed with a CC3200 will work on just about any Wi-Fi network. So how do you create products with a CC3200 launchpad? Well, the first thing you need to do is order the CC3200 Launchpad. You may need um, additional hardware. This is easily provided by booster packs. There are many software options available. And when you need to develop your own board, there is a lot of help available. Everything is documented to help you learn what is required. And when you have questions, there is ETUE community ready to help you. Booster packs make it simple to develop all sorts of products. They plug into the 40 pin headers. You can get many different types, some directly from TI, others from third party vendors, and others from the community. There are two new ones on their way, the camera booster pack and the audio codec booster pack. These make the CC3200 launchpad an even more desirable development platform. As mentioned, there are multiple software options available. TI's own Code Composer Studio and IAR Embedded Workbench are supported, and should you wish to develop with the GCC-based solution, this is also available. For those interested in wiring and Arduino-based development, Energia and Embed Xcode have you covered. Embed Xcode is the Macintosh solution based on Apple's Xcode, so you can even develop CC3200 solutions on a Macintosh. RTOS are also supported, including the beautifully integrated TI RTOS, or if you're looking for an open source solution, then there is free RTOS. Of course, other RTOS systems can be used. The CC3200 SDK provides API details and many examples to get you started. The Pinmux utility can be used to set up CC3200 pins just the way you want them, and UniFlash flashes a program to the flash or updates the firmware. Code Composer Studio makes life very easy when it comes to developing for the CC3200. It is now completely free, 
when developing on a launch pad and it remains free for your custom board when you're using the low cost XDS100 emulator. App Center provides all the libraries and resources you need to develop for the CC3200 and it installs simply with Code Composer Studio. And when developing with TI Artos, you can quickly access many of the ready to use examples that are great to get started on development. I find TI Artos is invaluable when developing and debugging complex code. The CC3200 SDK is the main resource for development. It contains 52 ready to use example applications, including detailed documentation on each example. You can see some examples on the graphic to the left. You can use these examples with Code Composer Studio, IAR or GCC. Each example has a ready to use binary so you can easily flash your launch pad to see how it works. It also includes the FTDI drivers so you can connect your debug your CC3200 launch pad. I find the ones installed automatically from the internet are the same. There is a lot of documentation including getting starter guides, driver library information and hardware assembly and schematics. The Simple Link Host Driver API is also provided and can be loaded via a web browser. Additionally, there is source code for the driver libraries and third-party resources such as Free, RTOS and FATFS. The Simple Link API provides all the APIs required for developing against the CC3200 Wi-Fi network subsystem. Its modular design makes it simple to find the right API for the job. I also include the FS module which enables you to write programs to utilize external serial flash in your applications. UniFlash is the tool you use to format the serial flash, program and application binary or files to the serial flash. You also use UniFlash to update the CC3200 firmware and retrieve version information. The console provides information usually telling you to reset the CC3200 launchpad it can also be used to debug any issue with using UniFlash. There are currently two versions of UniFlash, one made specifically for the CC3200 and CC3100 and mainline UniFlash used for flashing applications. So just make sure you've got the right one when um, using UniFlash. These will be combined together in the future. When working with the CC3200 launchpad, the most important jumper is the SOP2 jumper. When you're developing and debugging, you have this jumper on. You also have it on when programming the serial flash with UniFlash. You remove the SOP2 jumper when you want the CC3200 launch pad to run the program you have programmed with the serial flash. The other jumpers that should be on board when you receive the CC3200 launch pad is the force access point mode jumper. This jumper is for the out of box example. You can remove and forget about it for your custom programs as modes can be changed programmatically. There are many more jumpers available that perform all sorts of tasks. You can find out more at the CC3200 Launchpad Hardware Users Guide. Simple Link and particularly Smart Config is the technology that makes the CC3200 the absolute choice for many Wi Fi enabled products. These products include what are known as headless products. These are products that do not have a screen or keyboard or other way to enter Wi-Fi configuration details. Previous techniques required people with a high level of computing skills, often IT people, would need to be available to help connect a device to a network. But TI now made it possible for anyone to join a headless device to their own home or office Wi-Fi network with one simple step. All you need to have is an iOS and Android device and know what your Wi-Fi router password is. After a few moments of entering your passcode and pressing start, the device will be added automatically to the Wi-Fi router's network. The device will then be listed on devices and you can press on it to access the advanced configuration or the web application. Both the smart config and device features can be integrated into custom apps. One of the examples I will be showing at the end of this presentation already has all of this integrated and working. From the Devices tab, you can easily access the onboard HTTP web server. This will enable access to configure the network settings. You have many options available to set things up exactly how you desire. 
You can also find out device details such as firmware and hardware versions, MAC address, etc. And of course, the onboard HTTP web server can be used to develop your own custom applications. This page provides a list of tools I find very useful when troubleshooting and developing. One tool in particular um, bears special mention, and that is Fing. It can quickly show you whether your device has joined your Wi-Fi network and provides you its IP address, where you can have a look at the device, um, which will be named Texas Instruments as the manufacturer. The MDMS tools can also be useful when trying to determine why an app is not discovering your device. And protocol level debugging can also be accomplished with Network Monitor or Wireshark. And when it's time to develop your own board, there are many resources available to help you out. You can use the reference design to get you started, and then use the hardware design review process checklist to ensure you have covered all your bases. And when you need some help, of course, there's the E2E engineer to engineer community. It is the go-to place for support. Community members and TI engineers contribute to answering questions and solving problems. It also includes announcements such as service packs. Let's bring this all together and see what kind of real-world products you can develop with a CC3200 launchpad. The out-of-box example has some great examples which show you how sensors and inputs work. It runs on top of the CC3200 HTTP web server and gives you ideas on how you could develop your own products using the web server. You can obtain the source code and the binaries from the SDK. There are four different demos. The safety and security example shows you how the accelerometer can be used to display an alarm on the web page and flash LEDs on the CC3200 launchpad. The home automation example shows how you can remotely control a virtual sprinkler. You'll need to get the CC3200 launchpad or watch the videos to see the other two demos. The Exocet example provides a true-to-life cloud-based Internet of Things example. It communicates in both directions. It uses cloud-based services to control the launchpad from a remote location. For example, you can press a switch on the remote website to turn on or off an LED on the CC3200 launchpad. It also uses a cloud service to collect sensor and location data from the CC3200 from a remote location. For example, sensor data, including temperature and accelerometer data, is sent to the Exocet site and displayed. To install and set up the example, you will need to obtain the binary or source code from Exocet and then sign in for their service. All details are provided and easy to follow at the Exocet site. Light Server. This is actually the product I've developed. It's actually quite advanced in its development with most features implemented. It is comprised of two main components, the first being Light Server, which is a hardware device that connects to RGB intelligent lighting and has simple link Wi-Fi. The second component is an iOS app called LightKit that has simple link integrated within it, including Smart Config and MDMS. You can also control via a web server, by the internal HTTP web server. Whenever a user needs to add a new light server to their Wi-Fi network, they can easily do this by using the integrated smart config. This makes adding a new light server very, very simple. Anybody can do it. Like it will automatically find all light servers that are available and list them for a user to see. A user can then select which of the lights they wish to control. They can control them in various ways. They can join them up together and control them in a group or individually. And as for the lights and what you can do with them, you can change from subtle mood lighting to rave party lighting. Okay, so what this page does is it provides a link to various resources on the products discussed and all the information. So there will be a PDF available which you can download and that will make it available to access all of these links. Thank you very much for um, listening in on this um, introduction to the CC3200. So yeah, get out there and um, create your own products and um, connect.